Put some respect when you mention my name. DJ Cliff. Hey, what's up, people? It's your guy here, DJ Cliff. Welcome again to this channel. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you've told a friend about this channel and everything is just going to work on well, as you've always guessed. Anyway, today, um, just, you know, I usually make my videos just because I usually see the comments of you which people ask. For example, some of you can ask me, uh, my cross DJ application is a bit very slow. Uh, uh, when I do this particular trick, it's very slow. It does not recognize this, you know, maneuver. So the thing is, first of all, uh, you have to look at the version of the cross DJ you are using. For example, for me, I usually prefer using version 3.6.3. That's the version I'm using because I'm running version Android version 10. Uh, specifically because my original, the, the time I bought my Samsung A12. So some of you have, have been asking me, which kind of phone are you using? So I usually use the uh, Samsung A12. So on, in, all, in all my videos, I usually prefer using the uh, uh, Samsung A12. That's the only phone I'm using right now. And the Android version is running. I'm running Android 12. So for those who are asking me maybe which kind of a version are you using in Android, I'm using version 12 of Android. And for those who are using maybe Android 14 and the latter, uh, that's your benefit in the cross digital application. Because the faster your Android, the the faster uh, the good, the better the experience in your cross DJ application. So there's something maybe you might be lacking in your maybe in your tricks because there are some phones which have a very slow chipset. I'm talking about the CPU. For there are some people which uh, they are mean. I mean their CPU is about maybe let's say it's a uh, octa-core. Octa-core is a benefit, but the speed now, like now you can find this. You're, you're using an octa-core, and it's 1.8. I mean 1.8 gigahertz of which that means it's a bit not that faster compared to the one who is using version maybe octa-core 2.35 gigahertz and the latter. The one who is using a faster CPU is going to get the better experience. So, for example, if you're using, like for example, my phone A12, the one I'm using to record the audio, I usually prefer, it is uh, octa-core 2.3 gigahertz. It has eight uh, processors of which we can see it's a bit faster though not that faster as most of you will want your maybe your phone to be but it will give you the better experience in your cross dj application so first of all look at the cpu you are using or the phone you are using it can be android 10 or even android 9 but you have a very strong cpu uh, which runs at 2.0 gigahertz it can be faster for you also so you can also be running android 12 because the latest phones here are the one you you, you find that android 14 but it is it's running on a chipset which is 1.3 gigahertz there are some which are running also in 1.4 gigahertz there are some also which are, are running from 1.8 gigahertz i'm telling you that's a very slow cpu for example uh there's a latest version the cross dj application uh, released recently and it has a better graphical interface and uh we can see uh it, it really needs a stronger cpu that's why there was a time i usually installed that application on my device also and I got some, you know, some mis-experiences because it's it's like I was training my CPU. My phone was heating up very fast and at some point I could not even perform a very simple maneuver in the cross digital application. So look at that version. If you want a better experience, it's better you just go with version 3.6.3 of the cross digital application so that you can always enjoy the experience. There are some people who are asking me, you know, uh, why do, do I when when I plug in my into my Bluetooth device, when you want to mix your in your cross digit application, the thing is you'll never get the experience uh, with a person who is just you know. There's a way you can just connect into this jack you see here. You just connect it and you put it direct to the I mean your receiver. It directly goes when you tap. Q or you tap synchronize or you tap any hot cue in your cross digital application it is just on the go 
But when you're using now a uh, Bluetooth version, there's some delays you'll always experience. For example, uh, you are doing hot cues, so you have to, you know, this you'll have you'll run into challenges when it comes now to matching your beats because there will also be a delay, like for example, maybe 10 milliseconds for your audio to go straight to your Bluetooth device, and that you're going to have a very bad experience. You're not going to mix using your Bluetooth. So for me, let me tell you this, guys. I'll prefer you. You should just don't you don't use the Bluetooth uh, device to mix in your cross DJ application because you will not get the experience like I usually do. If you want to get a very good back scratch effect, like you've seen on my previous videos, the by filters, the I mean the sound effects when you just tap your drops there, they'll take some time to to listen to the Bluetooth device. So there's no reason for me I have to show you all this. I'm just telling you from my own experience because I'm also curious at uh, the time when I was uh, trying to interact with the cross DJ application, it does not go well with the Bluetooth device. And actually, if you want to uh, get the experience, for those who are using high-end, the flagship phones, for example, the Samsung S23 Ultras and the latter, uh, they might have maybe, you know, some, uh, you know, some benefits on that, but I've not used such kind of a, a gadget. So I'll, I, 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 I'll, I'll only talk about the one which I'm using currently. So for most of you who are watching my video, I'm sure you are just on the same level I am, or if you are using maybe high-end uh, device of your phone, maybe you can have some you know some benefits on that but actually just don't use the bluetooth device to perform your mixes and it's for your own benefit so that you'll not end i mean, I mean you're not run into uh, problems when you run i mean when you mix in your cross dj application so please stop using your bluetooth device to mix in your cross dj application for the own benefit of you and then there's something uh, people have been asking me, you know, um, the version. So I've told you the version. The version is free. You can just go to any platform, even in in the in the Play Store. You can pay for it. It is, uh, I think, it varies. So if you go to Play Store, you can also download it. There's some charges which, which will uh, will they will they'll ask you to pay, and you'll get all the privilege to use your cross digital application wherever you want. Um, now, uh, you know, there's some upgrade, uh, the Android, I mean the Android. So the, mostly people who have been using Android 11s, 12s and 13s going to, uh, forward. There's some, you know, security feature which Android has done. And actually it will prevent you from using the files you're using in your Android files. Whenever you want to go and access those files, you'll get that they are not there. But actually it's just not that they are not there. They are there. It's just that the, 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 you know, uh, that security feature has tried to hide those contents, not so so that you cannot always go and tumble with them and uh, mix up some. You know, you may find some people usually go tumble with the Android files, and uh, you get that uh, you have some your app just crashes. For example, when you op open maybe your TikTok maybe uh, application, it crashes down just because you did some modification and you forgot to do something. So the security feature is there. And that security feature now comes in now when you want to do some changes like uh, loading your sound effects in the cross digital application. Now it's going to be hard for you to do that. Uh, even the Z achievers used to, I mean, access the uh, files in the Android 11s and 12s, but right now it is hard for even the Z achievers, even the Solid Explorer to access those files. So if you want to access your files very well in the Android uh, files, you will need to have a PC where you always connect your USB so that you can connect your USB and access your Android files in the cross, I mean, in your, in, in, okay, those files in the cross DJ application. And for example, if you're using maybe Android 7, Android 10, someone who is using Android 10, Android uh, 9, maybe going to uh, downwards, there's some chances that you're going to edit that those files and uh, maybe you are going to do those, uh, you know, those changes. So anyway, guys, if you have any problem, I'll just like you always to consider commenting on my section down below so that whatever you are having any problems, we can always look at those comments and then analyze and I'll give you an update or even an upload regarding those issues on the comment section. 
we always help each other so the only thing you can do to support this channel please make sure you subscribe make sure you follow make sure you tell a friend about this channel and let's meet the next video i'm i'm sure you're going to like it before i finish uh, there's something i just li I'm likely to address the reason why you see i've really uh, reduced the amount of time i mean you know there's some feature maybe you might forget it's about uh the copyright uh content in the youtube okay so i'll also tell you more about the copyright content in the youtube on my next video please make sure you subscribe to know more about this it's your guy here dj cliff let's meet to the next video bye bye